Hey everybody, welcome back to Four Tunings. Travis here, got my son Malin. Today is gonna to be fun. It's our first cooking episode of this channel, so we'll see how this goes. We're gonna be making a French dip today using the bison meat from the bison I just recently got, so stay tuned. Okay, so here is what we're going to be putting in an Instapot. This is a bison chuck roast. We'll get it out of this package here. There we go. So here we have, I think maybe a three pound bison chuck roast that we're going to be using this Instapot you see right there. So we're gonna put it into the Instapot. We keep, the we keep that rope on, honey? Yep. It's cold, it's cold. Okay, we're gonna put in a cup of water into our Instapot. Okay. Next, we have about a quarter cup of dried onion here. I'm just gonna put it on the one side of the chuck roast. We're not gonna flip the chuck roast over or anything. Okay. A couple of tablespoons of some pepper, some black pepper. Okay, what's next, Malin? Are you kidding me? <laughs> you just sneeze on the roast? Jeez. And now we have a tablespoon of uh, garlic powder? All right. Maybe you just sneeze on the chuck roast. My over there. What are you doing? <laughs> I don't think Rachel Ray sneezes in her Rachel Ray shows. This is getting up my nose though. I'm gonna be sneezing in here. All right, it is in. Okay, so now we're gonna get the uh, crock or the Instapot on. Wait, we gotta close the lid, don't we? How do you close this lid? Do we twist it? Twist. Do we have to close this little thing, Mary? What's this venting ceiling thing, honey? We want ceiling. We want ceiling. Oh, wait. There we go. We're on ceiling. Okay, what do you think, Malin? Should we do porridge? Mm -hmm. Meat? Mm -hmm. Meat? Mm -hmm. Let's push meat. 35. So we probably want like an hour or two hours. Two hours. Let's do two hours. Let's see. Is this it? Oh, where'd it go? Where'd my timer go? No, no. Oh, here we go. Can you hold it down? Oh. That's not just one minute, right? That's two hours, right? Okay, the chuck roast is in the Instapot, so this is gonna be kinda neat, using the Instapot with our bison meat for the first time. It's on two hours, though. So it's close to two o'clock today. So we'll come back here in a little bit and um, see how it looks in a couple hours. Okay, so it's been two hours in the Instapot and now we're gonna check on the meat. My wife has told me I got to vent this. Ah, it scared me. <laughs> that ain't funny. Yeah, I can smell it. it. Smells like cooked meat right now. I can't wait to taste it. it smells good. I bet that wouldn't feel good just to put your nostrils right over that steam though. Probably burn them. <laughs> Not yet? Gonna wait for the pin. Oh, pin's down. <laughs> now I can twist it? Yep, carefully. Careful. And use the 
use the lid in front of you, kind of like a shield when you open it so the steam goes out the back. Yep. Looks pretty yummy. Now we gotta get that rope off of there. Mm -hmm. Man, is there like one good spot to cut the rope off? Hold it together. Aha! You wanna try it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the meat wasn't quite as, I would say, soft as we wanted. It wasn't shredding apart quite as easily. So we're gonna go for another 40 minutes on this and uh, see next time we open it back up that it'll just shred apart nice and soft. We're gonna get started on making some of the au jus sauce and just getting some of the other things ready for it. Okay, so while the meat is getting a little extra cook time in the Instapot, it was a frozen piece of chuck roast. Maybe that's why it's um, taking a little bit longer there. So we're gonna make our au jus sauce. I got myself a big old pan here. We're gonna add four cups of water. Here we go, four cups in the pan. Now in a lot of French dip recipes, they like to use something called like beef consomme or consomme, I don't know what it is. We use this. So this is better than, looks like boo, bouillon. 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 Whatever it is, but we're going to get about four teaspoons of this, which I ain't going to miss it here to measure stuff. So we do about two spoon drips of that. Well, that just doesn't come right off the spoon. Oh man, it's stuck on my finger. This stuff is sticky. Does it taste good? Don't lick it. <laughs> One more tablespoon. That looks about right. Looks like little slugs in there. Look at this stuff. Boy, you would not want to be covered in this stuff. <laughs> this stuff. I've got to wash my finger. How do you get it off the spoon? Okay, so we got that bouillon, 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 bouillon in the pan. Here we have some uh, chopped up onion. You could also you just use other onions, regular onion, chop them up. We got about two tablespoons of these dried chopped onions. I got some, a couple teaspoons here, uh, half a teaspoon. Half a tablespoon. Half a tablespoon of some tinny. Thyme. 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 Time. That's going in. Salt and pepper. Just use what you want to do there for a, for some taste. There's probably just a tablespoon or so in here, I think. Some chopped up celery. Um, just a couple, maybe a stalk of celery or so, but just gives it some little additional flavor. That's going in. Finely chopped. Finely chopped up, so we say. I'm going to stir this up. We're going to get this on the stove. We're going to bring it to a slow boil. Just let it simmer and it'll just kind of be nice and warm and ready for when the meat comes out. Plus we'll take some sauce out of the Instapot and also put it into this concoction here for the au jus sauce. So there we go. We'll get this on the stove. Okay, we've had another 40 minutes. We're gonna check the Instapot again for our chuck roast here and see if it just peels apart, just pulls apart nice and easily here. We've already let out that steam. Come on. Oh, got a twist. Ooh. I guess that's fine. Okay, let's see if this will pull apart. Definitely a little bit easier this time around. You're just shredding right off there this time. So we're gonna get a little bit of the sauce out of the uh, Instapot and a little bit of the meat and we're going to put it into our au jus. Come on, a little drippy drip. Give you a little bit extra flavor here. Another one? Mm-hmm. 
Is that? Yep. Here's our au jus simmering. A little meat in there now. Could slice that piece a little bit more. Okay. Get some more meat into the sauce. We want the meat to be nice and marinated in that au jus sauce. For what we're going to need tonight. Okay, so we want to get our hoagie rolls ready. I want to get a nice crisp brown on these. So we're going to lay them out on, some tr on a tray to put in the oven. I got a whole stick of butter in here, kind of part, partly melted down that we're gonna layer onto these. And some garlic that we'll put in the butter, so it'll be a nice garlic butter on the inside of the rolls. Should taste really good. <laughs> Shout out. Guess he starts with the bacon first. <laughs> what do you think, bud? Yummy. 